everybody. This is an experiment, actually. I've never done this really before, especially recorded. But what the subject of this short video is focus. It's strength, it's stamina. It's uh, to follow your own voice, even if the environment is not supportive of it. Just to explain to you that at this time, I have three screens going on at the same time. On the TV, I have a, there's a kind of a seminar with Tony Robbins, which is a life coach, something good. On the computer, I have listening to Norman Bolter describe his career as an orchestral trombone player. And on my iPad, I have Conrad von Appel conducting Mass in F major by Anton Bruckner. I chose, so actually, the point of this is that there are a lot of distractions, so the thing that you have to focus a lot on my voice in order to drown out the surroundings. And I have to focus on my own voice and not get dragged in into what is there. But I chose those three individuals because they have something, they have given me something. Norman Bolter gave me the confidence to start a new relationship with the trombone. Conrad von Appel, he gave me the means to truly express myself and the music within me. And Tony Robbins I just heard of recently and he has really, he's resonating with what I'm always telling my students and myself. So it's about focus and it's about embracing the environment because you cannot sustain your note if you don't accept that the environment is not supporting what is going on. But still, even what is happening is that I feel a lot of love coming because I have personal relationship with Conrad and a bit with Norman. I have no personal relationship with Tony Robbins, but what he says it resonates deeply within me. And so I feel a sense of freedom in this anarchy. Because even in this symphony of voice, in this chaos, my own individual voice shines through. And that is so important. That gives you power. So, I, it's impossible for me just to try to ignore. No, embrace everything that's around you, but focus from the general to the specific. You all have the ability to listen to my voice to make it clearer than anything else around you. So you have also the ability to listen to your own true voice, your core, the reason why you're there. Even if all the environment is going against you, you still have the power because we all have the power of concentration. We all have the power of focus. And it just depends if it's encouraged or not. What is being reinforced? So, I'm going to embrace this symphony of contrast and create yet another voice, my trombone voice. Yes, I agree, Norman. Conrad. Yeah. So I'm going to play something. Chromatic scale, why not? But I'm going to feel feel it as a part of the whole. And feel the tension it creates and the resolve when I feel I'm, I'm in a supportive environment. So we have to feel the tension it creates in itself. So we can enjoy and it releases.
yourself, even if everything around you goes against what you're trying to achieve. You have the power within you. Everything you have to know, everything you have to learn, you know already. You just need to unleash it. Thank you for listening and good luck on your journey and enjoy every moment of it even when everything goes against you because if you stay true to yourself then the surroundings might adapt to you and you truly can drag people in.